Hey, Marcus. Good to see you guys again. Hi. Hi. Um, we're back with day two of our youth devotions, and today we're starting with a song that Joelle picked today. It's um, This Little Light of Mine, so they're going to sing that one with you. Feel free to sing along with us, dance along with us at home. <laughs> Hope you had fun dancing and singing along with them. Today we are going to go back into the Jesus Storybook Bible. Yesterday we read that first story, um, the intro, kind of showing us that that hero, that prince, that baby connects the whole story of the Bible into one. And today we're going to be starting with um, the beginning, a perfect home. And if you want to read this after in the Bible, it's from Genesis 1 and 2. <clears throat> in the beginning, there was nothing, nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see. Only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there, and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light, and out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke. That's all. And whatever he said, it happened. 
God said, hello, light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello, sea, hello, sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello, land, and there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, trees, God said. Hello, grass and flowers. And everything, everywhere burst into life. He made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, stars, God said. Hello, sun, hello, moon. And whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the skies. Hello, fish, God said, and with a darting and dashing and wriggling and splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello, animals, and everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy skerfuffling. You're good, God said, and they were. God saw all that he had made and he loved them. And they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. God loved them with all of his heart, and they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees, the wonderful song of love to the one who had made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made perfect, he said, and it was. But all the stars and the mountains and the oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them always, Whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that the wonderful love story began. So my two questions today for you are, here we go. What did God say about everything he created and what was the most special part of God's creation. When God made everything that he saw, each part of it every single day, he stopped and he said, it is good. And when God said it is good, that was perfect. When God created the world, there was nothing wrong with the world. There was no sin. Like this story said, no sadness, no loneliness. Everything was good. And even though all of it was good, all of it was perfect, the most special part of his creation was people, was Adam and Eve. And we are called his children. He made people special. He loved them specially. And he, it said he would never, ever stop loving them. For our prayers this week, um, I'm going to focus mostly on thank you prayers. I'll just say a short thank you prayer from something usually from the story. When we are done with this, if you want to say a thank you prayer with your family too, pick out something from your day or something from your week that you especially want to tell God thank you for and talk to him together as a family. So if you want to fold your hands with me, we'll say our thank you prayer today. Heavenly Father, thank you for using your power to create such a beautiful creation. Thank you for putting the earth together with such care, 
such order and beauty, and thank you for putting special care into us, your children. Amen.